If you're new here, yoo-hoo! And if you're an oldie, welcome back! If you're not subscribed yet, now's the time to do so. Let's get it! It's the Delphinator here, and this is Review Quickie. Hey! Excuse me, hold on there. I don't need a disclaimer. This is my channel. I'll give it to your pet. If you don't have one, maybe I'll give it to your best friend. If you don't have that either, hmm, I can't help you. All opinions are mine, and that's that. Let's talk about Up North. You will not be welcome in this house until you have completed your NYC in Bauchi. This is not the kind of trip we want to remember. Okay. Up North is a breath of fresh air. It's a story told against the backdrop of one of Nigeria's northern states, Bauchi. It was so good to see the Bauchi state governor make a cameo appearance. It's obvious to see that this movie is supposed to boost tourism. Even I want to go to Bauchi after seeing Up North. Up North is a story about Basi Otwe Kong, played by Banky Wellington, a spoiled and rebellious heir who, as expected, believes life is a bit of roses. To punish him and to try to curb his excesses for a while, his father, Chief Otwe Kong, decides to send him to Bauchi for his compulsory youth service year, preparing him to take over the company and humbling him in the process. Up North was directed by Tokbe Oshin, it was written by Naz Onuzo, it stars Banki Wellington, Adeswa Itomi, Kanayo Kanayo, Ibrahim Suleiman, Rama Sadou, Michelle Dede, and others. It's the perfect blend between the old and the new Nollywood. It's amazing to see how these old schoolers are still relevant today. I love it. <laughs> I just love watching Kiyoki. Moving on. The Up North story is not an entirely new one. It's not something that we haven't seen before. But the choice of location, the background with which the story was told against is what tips the scale for me. Also, it was so nostalgic for me for several reasons. Like I said, the location, one. And then secondly, the asthmatic runner. That was very, very nostalgic for me because in secondary school, I used to run and I was asthmatic. Like I'll do the 100 and 200 meters dash and then just pass out at the finish line. It was epic stuff. I'm grateful that my parents never stopped me from running because I loved to run. And we somehow were able to manage the situation. Thankfully, I've outgrown asthma. On to technicalities, so the cinematography was just enough to show the rich colors and the beauty and the culture of the North. It was so good to see. I mean, just watching that scene at the Emmer's Palace where Basi got to experience all of that and be with the people and take pictures and just get to see all of what Bauchi was about. I felt like I was in there, I was immersed in that scene. It was beautiful, it was gorgeous. On performance, everyone didn't really do too shabbily. Um, on, in general, the performance was decent. New kid on the block, Ibrahim Suleiman, he held his own as the comical sidekick. He was one of my favorite characters, like I rooted for him. Um, his chemistry with his co-star Banky W was so so palpable like it felt like they were friends even off camera I can't say the same for Banky and his own love interest in the film Rama Sadal there was zero chemistry like zilch nothing like it didn't look like they just did not gel like I didn't see it I mean how do you have more chemistry with your sidekick than your love interest I don't know that's just what I saw Ha, I just didn't see the connection. I wanted more. The love, even the story around them, the progression of their love didn't quite jump out at you from the movie. Like it seemed rushed. There was no it just did not just work for me. It seemed as if their love just appeared from nowhere. Like no, it did not work. It was like a major loophole in the story for me. Also about Adesua's character, um, everyone wondered why she was mute. She barely had any lines. I think she had just one line or something. Um, but I read somewhere that it's because she wasn't originally uh, um, cast, that she just happened to be obsessed with her husband and somehow the director worked her into the story. That's the gist though. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. Yeah, so it was really weird, like, okay. But I would say that Adeswa had more chemistry with Ibrahim than Banky had chemistry with Brahma. Weird. Yeah. Furthermore, the music ooh, was carefully hand 
peaked. We had sounds from Sound Sultan, Olami Day, David Do, Faust the Bad Guy, and of course, original Northern sounds from some guy called Gray Jones or Sai. I think I never heard of him before, but I really, really enjoyed the score in that regard. In closing, I kind of liked Up North. I liked it. It was entertaining. It made me want to go to the North again. It made me want to add Bauchi to my bucket list, you know, but it left me wanting more. I just felt like something was missing, like there wasn't quite that bang or it factor, you know. They just, I just wanted more. Yeah. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I give Up North 3.4 Jolo Racing. Go check it out, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? Once again, it's the Delphinator here. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and share this video. Until the next one, toodles!